a veteran of King George's War, the French and Indian War. But what we're focusing on today is his time as a farmer during the American Revolution. Now, I know what you're thinking, wait, why the hell are we talking about some farmer? Well, just pump the brakes there, sweetheart, buckle up and get ready for this one. I'm Wyatt Roos, and we're talking about Samuel Whitmore. This is History's Icons. Let the show begin. July 27, 1696, born in Charleston, Massachusetts Bay, which was then controlled by the British. Whitmore grew up as most colonists did, farming and working hard. He found himself a private in the 3rd Massachusetts Regiment fighting for King George between 1754 and 1763, at age 64. But here comes the rad part, April 19, 1775, the Battle of Lexington and Concord. Whitmore, who was at that point 79, yeah, 79, Whitmore was standing in his field when he spotted an approaching British relief brigade that were coming to help assist the British retreat. So when Whitmore sees these redcoats, he loads his musket and he gets into position to ambush. As the Redcoats get closer, Whitmore jumps out from behind a stone wall. Boom! A white cloud of smoke leaves his musket, killing one Redcoat instantly. Then draws his dueling pistols. Boom! Boom! Another Redcoat bites the dust, and another is mortally wounded. By the time Whitmore fires his third shot, a British detachment reaches his position. Whitmore draws his freaking sword and attacks the Redcoats. I like to think he said something gnarly like, Suck steel, or something like, let's go you ass eh, or, or maybe not. Comment below what you think you would say is a killer line right before you did the most bad thing ever. Back to the story. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, whatever he said, the Redcoats didn't like, so they shot him in the face. Then he was bayoneted multiple times, they'd beat him and left him in a pool of his own blood to die. When the colonial forces found him, they found him in a pool of blood. <sighs> trying to load his musket so he can continue the fight. Are you kidding me, dude? That is the most amazing thing ever, bro. If that doesn't give you chills, are you even alive, dude? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, Whitmore was then carried to a nearby doctor's house, the cousin of John Adams. The doctor had zero hope for him to live. But he fully recovered and lived another 18 years, dying of natural causes at 96. That is insane. Talk about a man that defies the word of patriot. A marker was placed on the scene of his attack. It reads, Samuel Whitmore, then 80 years old, killed three British soldiers on April 19, 1775. He was shot, bayoneted, beaten, and left for dead but recovered and lived to be 98 years of age. This has to be one of the most knucking fut stories I have ever heard. Talk about beast mode. And that, my friends, is why Samuel Whitmore is one of history's icons. If you like what you saw here, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any further episodes of history's icons. And please support us on Patreon. It really helps keep this project going. I'm Wyatt Roos. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Talk about beast mode.